Climate change is apparently, by all reckoning, the most difficult type of problem for people to accept. It's far enough in the future and no individual is responsible. Everybody's responsible and there's no enemy except us. But we're just trying to make a living, breathing and burning stuff like everybody else. If you're this guy Inhofe from uh, Oklahoma, it's literally unimaginable to you. You can't imagine how a population of humans could change the atmosphere of an entire planet. But we have, largely by accident. When I went to the World's Fair, 1964, five, there were fewer than three billion people in the world. When I left the World's Fair, there were more than three billion. Now, in my grandfather's day, there were fewer than one and a half billion. Today, as we record this, there's 7.2 billion. That's the first problem. If you had an extraordinary car on some kind of extraordinary road, and you could go straight up for an hour, you'd be in outer space. So that's the problem. Seven billion people, the atmosphere is like that. And then the third problem, or thing you gotta understand is, carbon dioxide and a few other gases keep the world warm. Without carbon dioxide, the greenhouse effect, the world would be too cold for us to be here, or at least to live the way we, to extent, exist the way we exist. We wouldn't look anything like ourselves, in other words. So those three things, carbon dioxide holds in heat. Seven billion people, atmosphere really thin. That's why we're changing, that's how we're changing the climate. And the other problem with carbon dioxide, it doesn't go away, it's not, if you have a swimming pool that's dirty, and you trickle in clean water long enough and drain out dirty water, eventually it'll be clean. But the atmosphere is, once the carbon dioxide's in there, it's not going anywhere. It stays there for centuries. Here's what I want everybody to do. Talk about it. Everybody talk about it all the time, and then we'll get around to doing something about it. If the United States were leading in better battery technology, wind and solar, I know there's a whole nuclear bunch of guys, I'm fine. If, if we were leading the way in energy production through sustainable means, coal and oil would uh, decrease in, in usefulness and the world would follow the United States. But with the United States dragging its feet, whining about China, whining about India, and they're not playing by the same rules, me, 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 nothing's getting done. If the United States were out in front, the whole world would follow.